Okay, here's today's little experiment. Some of you would have seen it before. There's a discussion on um, vortexes created by magnets or magnetic fields or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so we're looking at that on overunity.com and we would have seen this video once before, or some of us would have, if we can show the bubbles spinning around on top of a magnet. So what I've done here is I've got a little copper plate on the bottom that our negative wire is hooked onto, a magnet sitting on that, and we have a large copper plate, and that one's laying flat on the bottom of the tank as well, as you can see in there. So they're parallel, the two plates, both negative and positive, or anode and cathode. The reason I'm using copper is so we don't produce any oxygen bubbles. Uh, we'll be getting nothing but hydrogen bubbles off the magnet. So uh, it's just an LED light in the background there. Let's light her up a bit. Amp meter. We don't really have to worry about. Going to put 31 volts through it. We'll put some KOH in the water just to give it some conductivity. So what we'll do now is I'll set the video camera up in front of the magnet as best I can. And now we're going to uh, switch on the power and we're going to see what happens. So here we go, three, two, one. Now I don't know which polarity is what on the magnet because I seem to have lost my compass. It's been filed in a safe place somewhere. But you can clearly see a spin there and uh, tiny little tornadoes forming everywhere. Now this spin can't be created from the uh, wires because um, they're both laying flat on the bottom of the tank. So it's not working like a homopolar motor at the moment and we still get the spin effect on top of the magnet. I'll try and move this in a bit closer. And I'll upload it in high definition if I can. But you can clearly see little tornadoes of bubbles forming everywhere on top of the magnet. It's just a neo magnet. That one actually has a hole through the centre. The bottom is one pole if we want to call them poles and the top is the other sit this down here like that so you can definitely see a clear spin in the clockwise direction if you're looking down on top of the magnet. I don't know if you can see that but there's some wild tornadoes going on in there. Get the espational spout that goes all the way to the top of the tank. Like that one just did on the left. So I guess you really have to ask the question, um, why is there a spin in both the negative and positive wires are laying flat on the tank? So what we're going to do now is switch it off and we're going to spin the magnet over the other way. without disturbing the water too much. I'm just going to dry this KOH with the uh, hand. Probably should give it a wash, but we'll do that in a little while. <coughs> now we're going to switch the power back on. 
and immediately you can see the spin is now in the opposite direction. And the spin forms right from the bubbles on the bottom that are coming off the copper plate. Start swirling in one direction towards the top. What I'll do now is I'll switch that off and uh, just to make sure as you can see it's got a hole in the middle of it but what we'll do now is we'll put a uh, solid now in there and see what happens with that one This is a solid neo magnet, as you can see no hole in it. Just seemed to get a better effect with the uh, magnet that had a hole in the middle. Power on. But as you can see, still the same. So that one makes better little tornadoes around the magnet. So um, I guess the question is what is causing the spin and why does the spin change when we flip the magnet over and we haven't changed the polarity of our input current. So it's definitely not working on the principles of a homopolar motor. Something else must be happening. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and find a piece of round steel bar the same size and I'm going to place that in there and uh, see what happens but I'll have to dig one up and cut it down to size first so we'll be back shortly okay well I found a uh, short bit of pipe which I've cleaned up a bit and we've put that in there so basically the same situation as our magnet with the hole in the middle but uh, not magnetized so we're going to switch on the power now and see what happens And as you can see, zero vortex effect. And you might be able to also be able to see in the background there we are making no oxygen off of the copper plate because it is oxidizing. So um yeah. Don't really know about this one. Actually, we might stick a magnet on the bottom of this pipe and see what happens. So I'm going to put the magnet with the hole in it on the bottom of the tube. A steel tube like so. And we'll move you 
back a bit and we'll turn the power on. So on the bottom we can see it clearly rotating around the magnet and off the top of the pipe it's coming off straight. Very slight curl off the top of the pipe. What I might do now is just turn that set up over. So the magnet is now on the top. And we'll turn the power back on. So there's a slight spin on the bottom of the tube, very slight, and what's interesting is it's actually in the opposite direction to the spin on the top of the magnet. So as you can see with the bubbles down the bottom, and on this side, it's slowly spinning clockwise if you're looking straight down on it. But up the top here, there's a definite anti-clockwise spin. Looking from the top down, that's actually got two little tornadoes going there. So you can see it curling around clockwise direction on the bottom anti-clockwise on the top what else can we do? Well, we'll put a magnet top and bottom of this bit of tube and see what happens and I'll use this solid magnet for this So that was a bit hard to put together because I, what I've done is I've put like poles sticking to the tube. So if this one here was north, this one here is north and the other end on both is south. I'll have to move the camera back a wee bit so you can get all of that. I'll switch on the power. Well, that's quite interesting. Right, the top clearly has an anti-clockwise spin. And what I mean by anti-clockwise is we're looking from the top of the fish tank down onto the magnets or the uh, setup. And the bottom definitely has a clockwise spin. what it should be because one magnet is upside down so the spin is going to be in the opposite direction. We have the south pole right at the bottom and a south pole right at the top. Or we'll like poles top and bottom, I don't know which ones are what, but one is the top is spinning anti-clockwise, the bottom is spinning clockwise. So what I'm going to do now is flip one of these magnets over. So we have a 
north-south, north-south configuration. And I'll do that with the top one. So depending on which way these are around, what we would have now, oh, this just fell over. Not so stable. A bit of foam rubber's just about passed out, I think. So we'd have a north, south, north, south configuration. That's what poles they are. But that's what the setup is at the moment. Switch the power on. Well, we have a clear clockwise bin on the top. And slight clockwise spin on the bottom. As you can see, this little trail of bu bubbles is coming around the front side of the magnet and going up. There is a definite spin up the top. Not a lot of action down the bottom. Oh, for those of you that are interested, 31 volts at 1 amp. 31 watts of power going in there at the moment. So the bottom seems to have died. There is a slight clockwise rotation as you can see there. wild rotation up the top. Oh. Put all three big magnets to oh, drop that straight on there. So it's all three big neos stuck together just for a little look well, that's got a that had a wild tornado happening up the top there for a minute look at that So it's all spinning in the same direction now. So there you go, your thoughts on that? What is causing the spin? What I will do while it's running there, I'm going to get our copper plate. You know, as you can see now, this is lovely and blue. And I'm going to set it right in behind the magnet there, like that, vertically. And we can see that it's made no difference. what is going on inside or around the uh, magnets itself so 
And now it's spinning all the way around the magnets, creating quite a whirlpool. And it's spinning all in a clockwise direction at the moment. Okay, what I've done here, it's got one magnet with, say, the North Pole up the top, another magnet with the South Pole up the top. We call them poles because that's what everyone knows them as. And that's just stuck on a big steel block. So, uh, let's move that back a little bit. Let's turn the power on and see what happens this time. I have, as you can see, our nice bluey coloured oxidised copper plate uh, right behind the setup this time. And uh, I just thought I'd keep moving that around, see if it made any difference. And it makes absolutely no difference at all where you have it. Whether it's laying on the floor, standing up, sitting on an angle. So, uh, we'll switch on the uh, power and see what we get this time. Oh, you can see one's going one way and one's going the other way. This one here spinning anti clockwise, this one here spinning clockwise, and of course the bar peeling off some bubbles as well. But you can actually see the bubbles coming off of the bar are being influenced by the spin coming off of the magnets. One point two amps, thirty two watts of power going in there at the moment. Uh, actually, a little bit more because we're running at thirty one volts, not thirty. I'm just going to uh, drop our plate down, copper plate at the back, just to show you that the position of that copper plate makes no difference to the effect other than the water I just stirred up as to what the magnets are doing to the bubbles or the water. So obviously the water's spinning because the bubbles are spinning. So there you go. It's about all I can uh, think of doing at the moment in regards to this. You can see that one there is going clockwise. Some nice little tornadoes coming off it. And this one here is clearly going anti clockwise. Magnetic spin or spin vortex whatever you want to call it from permanent magnets does it exist? if not what the hell's causing this? cheers guys ok just throwing this one in on the end I've got four little half inch neos uh, 10 mil I think they are thick all stacked together and they're sitting on top of a flat magnet which is about 50 mil or 2 inches long about uh, three quarter of an inch wide and a uh, quarter inch thick and that uh, seems to give the best tornado effect and it gets spirals all the way to the top of the tank off of that setup <laughs> fun stuff anyway 
at the very least. And of course our copper plate which is lovely and blue now is uh, sitting at the back behind them. Doesn't seem to make any difference where you put that plate. It all works the same. So we'll stick it right over in this corner of the tank. Lay it flat on the deck. And you can see the results are the same. And of course our negative wire is also laying flat along the tank. Alright, time to go and stick this all together and uh, get it up for you guys to have a look at. So, uh, interesting stuff anyway. Cheers.